Well, we were confused about uh, asymptomatic spread, which is there's both pre-symptomatic symptomatic and never symptomatic. Uh, the experts, we were slow to really talk about how important that was. And that meant pushing masks as an intervention. We were slow to do that. Most respiratory diseases make you cough. And so you, and you know that you're coughing, you know. So when you have the flu, uh, you're not that confused about it. And you know, if you have TB, uh, you're coughing. Here, just talking, uh, singing, yelling, uh, can make the virus, uh, and particularly some people have very high viral loads who are called super spreaders, can get it way out there. So that's a real surprise to us. Now, finding those super spreaders, who are they, how do you detect them, uh, that's still very unknown. The duration of protection you get if you've been sick, either very sick or mildly sick, you get some protection, we see that, but how long does that last? Uh, which components are key to that? You know, we're still exploring that. Uh, uh, and so, you know, blood plasma is partly how we'll get, uh, to, as a treatment, is how we'll get that understanding. The, you know, the why it took so long to take off in various countries, uh, including Africa, you know, that's also quite mysterious to us. Sadly, we do know that this is somewhat seasonal, and so the uh, infection rates will go up in the northern hemisphere fall versus what we're seeing today, and that's partly why South America, uh, mostly in the southern hemisphere, why they're seeing such a severe epidemic. Fortunately, Australia and New Zealand uh, got theirs under control, so they have a tiny number of cases.